A quick update on Singapore's vaccination progress. Within a day, July 31st to August 1st, the percentage of the population who have completed the full regimen increased by one point. Indicated by the orange line, 62% of the population, or more than 3.4 million people, have received both doses. Another addition to our arsenal in the fight against COVID-19 are drug treatments. And researchers here have found a combination of drugs which can be used to treat patients with mild to moderate disease. The drug cocktail has also shown promising results in effectiveness against the beta and delta variants. To derive an optimal combination of drugs with the correct dosages, the team at the NUS's Institute for Digital Medicine had used an AI platform and live virus testing. The team found that novel antiviral drug molnupiravir combined with anti-inflammatory drug baricitinib could strongly inhibit the virus in lab tests, making it suitable for further clinical evaluation. This combination could also be easily administered at home, timely as Singapore moves towards an endemic COVID-19 situation. Here to share more is team leader Professor Dean Ho, who is the director for the Institute of Digital Medicine at NUS Yong Lulin School of Medicine. Welcome to the show, Professor. How does the drug combination Thanks stack up me. against other treatments? So I think what's exciting about this approach is that as part of a pandemic readiness platform, it will hopefully play a supportive role towards the primary strategy of vaccination, tracing, and detection. And when we implement it, I think we're, what's important to note is that we're not just looking at one combination, but identify allows us to evaluate a multitude of combinations. And what happens there is this allows us to rank out from the best all the way to the worst combination. And so the core finding of this study was that molnupiravir is a very potent drug from the lab tests upon which multiple combinations can be built. And so when we look at this molnupiravir baricitinib combination, we found that baricitinib did not adversely affect the, the function of molnupiravir. And so when we look at a comparison, um, it strongly inhibited uh, the virus uh, in these assays. And when you do a comparison with, say, other single drugs, many of the single drugs that are administered and given at standard doses have a fairly diminished effect. And so when you look at this combination, or even in some cases, some of the single therapies like molnupiravir, you get this much more robust antiviral activity. Right, Prof, it's exciting news for your team. What's next in the research process for this? And how early can we see it on the market? I think what's exciting about this uh, Identify platform is that it involves the seamless integration of clinicians, of the technologists, as well as our colleagues at DSO National Laboratories looking at the actual antiviral assays that are being run. And so what's interesting here is the clinicians really do help us recommend some of the initial therapies to put in to the optimization process. And so what we're doing now is we're actually looking with their guidance at new therapies to continuously run this process so that we'll always be ready. When new therapies come out, ones that are in tablet form that could potentially be deployable in the community in a more straightforward fashion, what we wanna do is to continuously run the identify approach. And what we'll have is this rolling database of recommendations to provide the clinicians to decide which combination should be evaluated further for clinical uh, use and or potential deployment into the community. Now, in terms of our ability to roll this out, I think what's great is that the workflow that we've established with all of our collaborators worked wonderfully. And I think right now we're, we have this ability to continuously do this. And so that being said, I think we have a platform that we're ready to offer as a public benefit approach which means we want to continuously run this and provide information as we go immediately so that we can always be on the ready when we have to evaluate new therapies or in the future, if new pathogens arise, we'll be able to rapidly within weeks find and develop an arsenal to address those pathogens. 